this is a really special day for me. Hey, man. Hey, you. Even though I've made two Stephen King movies, I've never actually met Steve in person. He is my hero. He has been my hero since I was a kid. Hello, Danny. I loved The Shining. It completely changed the way I looked at the world. So when I found out that he was going to be publishing a sequel, I lost my mind. I read it in a day or two. I always wondered what happened to Danny when he grew up. By taking Dan Torrance's story as a grown-up and filtering it through his own large heart, Mike has been able to take the Kubrick movie a step further. My strategy was to honor what Kubrick did and to approach this like it is an authentic sequel to the film that he made, while also trying to honor themes from the novel of The Shining that didn't make it into the film. The Shining is very much about alcoholism and addiction and not being in control of yourself. The Doctor Sleep novel and our script seems to be very much about recovery. You still owe a debt, son. Pay it. The only way to do the movie was through the novel. But the cinematic legacy of Stanley Kubrick is monolithic. And one of the things that's been the biggest honor for me in this is to try to pull those worlds together and to honor the story and the characters that you created so beautifully in the cinematic language that has become so iconic. Mike's movie stands on its own and it has its own excitement and its own rewards that it brings with it. It's a fine adaptation of Dr. Sleep. But it's also a terrific sequel to Stanley Kubrick's movie, The Shining. This is a movie you should see. I'm proud to be a part of it.